Shut that door. Okay. Stop. okay. I'm recording is that, now, mate. Is that for legal reasons you have to tell me? I'm just recording you because I'm hoping that you're going to get your asshole out at some point. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh. me. Oh, I have to press OK. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's much quieter. What are you doing uh, now? Right, I'm waiting for you. Are you ready? What, what have I got to do? Well, you just look at the screen, basically, and then we just have a discussion about the the questions that I will ask. This is this is the the premise of the thing, and then okay. we'll just go into it. It's 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 it gets quite fun. It gets quite fun. Uh, I don't know if it will with you because you like got a jar head, so I don't know if it's going to work. And you but... look like Rudolph. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck's going on with your nose? Mate, he was top of his field, Rudolph, in the end, so. <laughs> uh, what are you eating, dog? It's our oh, poudini. Here it comes. Oh, look. Looks like you, doesn't it, a bit? <laughs> oh, he does look cute. Yeah, you're right. You know, um, um, yeah. um, <laughs> would right. you rather fuck your crush or fuck your ex? No way. I've got to do a... I've got to do an introduction first. Yeah, but that is retarded. This one is retarded, yeah. I'm uh... <laughs> Who's going to pick your ex? <laughs> okay, right. Um, I... let's, <laughs> let's, let's do an introduction. Let me do, let me do a really <laughs> shit introduction. All right. Uh, <laughs> I got to do a really shitty introduction. Okay. Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to my podcast that nobody will watch. Hey, my, yeah, my guest today is uh, is some guy. His name Hello. His name's Ryan Murphy. <laughs> Say hi to the people, Ryan. Hello, people, Ryan. <laughs> Fuck off. Nailed it? Nailed, nailed it, mate. Nailed it. Okay. Uh, like the Jesus. Show, <laughs> the, the show is Would You Rather? Uh, and basically you choose which one you would rather, and there'll be some fun and some laughs had along the way. Yeah. The first starting one with, looks really fun. <laughs> starting with <laughs> the first one, would you rather <laughs> stab a baby or rape a baby? Do, do you set any parameters? Yeah, you can do. So, for instance, I would stab a baby, but the weapon I would use would be my penis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, I would stab a baby. No, actually, no, sorry. <laughs> I would rape a baby. <laughs> but I would use your penis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's I've never, I didn't think about that. I didn't think yeah, about that. See, that make... I've incriminated you. Yeah, but you'd be accessory to rape, wouldn't you? Mm, I suppose it depends if I was there or not. Well, I mean, you're doing the raping with my penis. If I had like a voodoo doll, though. I yeah. don't think this can go out on TikTok. <laughs> Not this one, <laughs> but we're going to do a few, so. Not uh, this one. Yeah, you could do stab a baby with an injection, couldn't you? That's true. But I think if... if it, Well, I mean, but yeah, but if we're going to go... It's it's not going to be rape a baby or stab a baby with an injection, is it? It's not like... <laughs> well, that's why I said, do you set the parameters? You set them well, like, yeah, I know, but you've got to be realistic within the confines of what's happening. They're not going to be like, would you, would you stab a baby <laughs> with a fake knife, or would you rape it? <laughs> it's not going to be that, is it? No, so, what do you have to use, though? It... Well, I mean, I'll, it... I, you know, I, we just, we just go through it, but it could be stab, like you said, but it's not. We're not going to go with that. I think if it was stab a baby, like it doesn't say kill the baby though, does it? No, but you have to use like a machete. Let's go. Yes, let's go. Yes, you do have to use a machete. What with machete? Yeah. Okay, I'd hack a limb off then, I suppose. Yeah, I think, uh, and it wouldn't be as bad because their bones aren't yet set, so like you'd just be cutting through quite easily. Yeah, I don't think the axe would be very hard, would it? No. No, I mean, I think I'd find it harder to rape a baby. Um... <laughs> you think? 
Not yeah, because find out. The hardest thing is if you get a taste for it, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's true. You know, that's true. And well, I mean, also if you go, I think I think if you go to prison for either of these, you're mm. gonna get killed in prison. But I think stabbing a baby, you you might get away with a bit more than raping one. You know, being a chomo. Yeah, I suppose you could say like it was kind of flirting with me. I suppose it was asking you know, for it. Yeah, it was kind of giving me the come on in that nappy. Yeah. It was wearing a sleeveless onesie. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, let's go. Uh, that, I don't know if you've been on this website before either, but when I click on mm. stab a baby, when I click on stab a baby in the middle, yeah. it will come up. It will come up with the percent the percentage of uh, who agrees. So if this oh, isn't a hundred percent, then yeah. it's meant. This is mental. Um. So we don't have to actually do it. Well, I mean, we can act it out if you want. We'll do a bit of a... <laughs> <sighs> we can do a role play if you, uh, if you well, like. Well, that's a relief. I'll have to put the Johnnies away. <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm glad you're being safe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not going to have anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That just looks like a baby that's been raped a few times, so I don't want to catch anything. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> right, right, stab a baby. 68%, which means 32% of people would rather rape a baby. Oh. Okay. Maybe they played this game on Epstein Island quite a lot. <laughs> you <know>? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Like, no, no, it's definitely rape. It's and definitely they were, <laughs> And they were all there afterwards, like, I can't believe that sixty eight percent of people want to stab a baby. They're like <laughs> stab a baby. <laughs> well, you can't kill babies. <laughs> no. No. It's the most you scar them for the rest of their lives. <laughs> oh. Um uh, this one came up with Lee the other day. Would you oh. rather be in the Hunger Games. Yeah, I'll just skip it. You're right. I'll just skip it. Go to... no. All right. Would you rather be a sex slave for three weeks or look like the guy out of the Goonies for a week? <laughs> I'm guessing they mean sloth. Well, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Not the like cool guy in that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the look old like... woman who's like the mum. <laughs> Well, you wouldn't mind looking like um, uh, Brolin, would you? Who plays in it? Who? The young Brolin. You know, the guy that plays Thanos. Is he in it? Yeah, yeah. He's a young guy in it, and he's like, he's pretty He's pretty good looking. He's pretty good looking. Because uh, River Phoenix is in it, isn't he? Is he in there, is he? Yeah. Joaquin's brother. Before he killed himself. Obviously. Yeah. Not after. No, it's no. <laughs> they had open. They had the technology back then to do it afterwards. <laughs> See, they didn't have the CGI. <laughs> so what is it? Be, so who am I being a sex slave for? I suppose that's a good question. That's a good question. But with the sex, yeah, because if you were a sex slave to somebody that's vanilla, it's not going to be so bad, is it? Yeah, but obviously, also if you're a sex slave to a man. Oh, that's a good point. Just a man, any man. But then also, it wouldn't matter because, you know, you might be a sex slave to a woman, which would be your preference, but mm. because you're a sex slave, they might be like, right, fuck that guy. And you'd be like, oh. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For free, like, I suppose at least there's an ending there, right? Well, there's, there's an ending to the other one. You get to, You have to look like him for a week. Oh, wait, why, why is this even a question? <laughs> I agree. I'm sure I agree. it's very easy just to be the fucking... The Goonies guy. guy. Right? Yeah, just hide inside for a week. Yeah, but even, like, you could just go out, couldn't you? It doesn't matter. You're only going to be, like, for a week. Yeah, and then when you go back to normal, no one's going to recognise you. It's not like it's not like you're no. the guy. And then they're like, oh, that's Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could do some crimes. 
Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. But they come to your cell and they're like, oh, you're not that disfigured guy that was doing all the raping. The baby like, no, raping. it's me, it's Rydog. <laughs> it's me, it's Rydog. It's Rydog. And then they just let you out, will not they? And then the, the, the warden just turns around and like, who the hell put Rydog in here? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know right now. Shackled up the ride dog because I'd be in solitary because I've been pretty bad. <laughs> but I'm boiling yeah. water on people and sugar and that, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Okay, maybe, well, uh, what would I do for a week? Acid attacks, maybe. Yeah, and you, it's because of the jealousy that you look like a the guy. Yeah, I'm trying to disfigure people like me. Yeah, yeah. You're trying to make friends. It's just your way of making friends. <laughs> Yeah, that's all I want. <laughs> an army of people who are like me. <laughs> that's all. That's it. You're a misunderstood creature. I think there should have been a spin off about him, shouldn't there, really? <laughs> I think so, too. <laughs> I think so. Wait, no, I was going to say he didn't he die, but he like became Chunks' best friend, didn't he? Yeah. Would you want a prequel or a sequel, though? Oh. I think the prequel is. He, he's just one of the guys from the Hills of Eyes took a took a wrong turn and ended up in the city, having sex with that woman. <laughs> <laughs> that woman's shocked her. Yeah, yeah. So you think sequel with chunks? With chunks, yeah. That'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? And them just getting up to all sorts of shenanigans. Yeah, and then like at the end, they're always like. Like, go to kiss, and then they go, no, no, no. no. <laughs> and then it ends. <laughs> <And> then... <laughs> That's how it ends every week. You wouldn't be allowed to have chunks nowadays, would you? And call him. Well, there is a successful YouTuber called Chunks. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah. But he wasn't like a child star that they called chunks and made him wiggle his belly fat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you it? wouldn't be able to do that these days. No, that'd be a hard sell, wouldn't it? Although, have you seen the film Stand By Me? Yeah. Oh, so basically... sorry. That's the one I was on about earlier, that River Phoenix is in. Oh, yeah, yeah, he is in that one. Yeah. No, and River Phoenix isn't in that one. He's... uh uh. Joaquin, what is that his name? Joaquin, Joaquin Phoenix. He's in that one. No, Joaquin. I think it's River. Are you sure? I'm sure it is. Hmm. Yeah, because he's the one with the glasses, isn't he? I'm not sure, to be fair. But my my point was is that there was a bunch of lads that went heard about a dead body, and then they travelled like across a couple hmm. of states to try and see this body, and then hmm. and then. Uh, Logan Paul sees a dead body and gets cancelled. So I don't know what. Times are changing, I suppose. Times are changing. You can't do that anymore. You can't just go can't in search of a, a dead body. Anymore. Can't what? Can't even stab a baby anymore. Yeah, it's, it's world's fucks, man. Kids today, <laughs> you know how. So I, I'm going to go for sloth guy, and then I think you should have to have the opposite. So you're like round. <laughs> And fucking monster donged by some really lonely woman. <laughs> yes, fuck it. Duffing you. All right. Well, uh, you go for that then. We'll click on that one. Go Fifty-four on percent of it's close. Like yeah, because 40... people are kinky, aren't they? They they think it's going to be fucking Megan Fox. Yeah, that's true. They don't understand sex for more than three minutes. Never mind yeah. three weeks. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, I mean, it, you know, a sex slave like people don't people just see the sex, but they don't see the slave bit. You know yeah, I mean? it's like exactly. twelve years a slave. <laughs> I don't think it's quite the same. <laughs> no, but there's slave. <laughs> What's the worst thing you can do? Eat dookie, maybe. I suppose. Do yeah, that would be bad. Eat some dukes. Um, whereas 12 Years a Slave, 
That's quite long, isn't it? No, that is a while. <laughs> That is a like, good long while. even if you weren't being slaved in that, it's quite a long time. What, 12 weeks? Uh, 12 years? Like if you said I had to stay at my living room for 12 years, <laughs> I'd, I'd be so angry, man. yeah, that would be that would be bad. And I haven't had to do any slave chores for that. I think If anything, you, that I would think you'd, break up the monotony. yeah, that's what, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> if anything, I'd be like, you know, maybe I want to go out and cut the grass. Uh... <laughs> so, come on, master, please let me cut the grass. I'm not going to do the accent, but um, <laughs> but This um, is this isn't TikTokable either. <laughs> you know, throw me into a man dingo fight. Uh. <laughs> See what happens. Maybe, maybe I like it. I'm just saying, maybe if they had gave them nothing to begin with, just said stand in that room, they might have gone. <laughs> so you've They got might. some tips. You got some tips for slavery. <laughs> Well, if they could do it again, I feel like I could improve it. That's all I'm saying. You know, show them what they're missing. Uh, mate, you sound like all of the all of the slave traders down the pub back in the day that couldn't afford slaves. They were like, if they were my slaves, I would be doing this. Yeah. Oh, that's we. I'd actually be such a good like plantation owner, you know. I Would feel you? like I would dress like Colonel Sanders. <laughs> well, that's a good leeway le uh, leeway into our next one. Uh. Would you rather eat your own body weight in leftover chicken wings from KFC from a Trump with AIDS? From? <laughs> How's it come from him? I don't know. Maybe he just put them up his butt and pooped them back out. Or leftover pizza crusts from Pizza Hut from the same trap. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to decide how we're getting the the food Get names. of like is he pulling them out of a black bag <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? Yeah. or is he like is he cooking them on the grill you know Now, because they're left over, aren't they? so I think I reckon They've thrown them in one of them big biffer bins, yeah? And Yeah. he's just, like, grabbing them out, you know? Okay, well, that's... I reckon this is where we do a... An improv. I'll play the tramp. All right. Yeah. Type type cast again. <laughs> Can he be a, a, <laughs> a tramp from the south of America? From the south of America. Like, uh, USA. Um... Um... From the eighteen <laughs> hundred. Oh hey hey man, uh, I got some I got some leftover. Um... <laughs> no, actually, Got some. don't do that. Don't do I got that. I got some leftover chicken wings. If you if you wanted some some trick chicken, you want some leftover chicken wings, man. Got some leftover chicken wings. Hello, trap with AIDS. Oh, Um... <laughs> who told you I had AIDS? Ah, oh, goddamn, goddamn. Your brother, um, Chlamydia Kevin, told me. Oh, God, Kev, he needs to shut his mouth, man. He needs to shut his mouth. <laughs> I can't tell if you're white or black. No, I'm white, obviously. Oh, are you? Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, typecast again. <laughs> if I was black, I'd have I've done blackface. <laughs> Ah, uh, that was me. I think I'd weirdly. I think I'd go for the. Oh. Hey man, hey, hey, hey man, hey, I got some pizza crusts here for you, man. Yeah, that bit's got a bit of cheese still left on it if you want it. Mm. Uh, hey, um, <laughs> sorry, I didn't catch your name. Me, my name? Yeah. Ah, I'm old, I'm old Vincent. People call Old me old Vincent. Vincent, uh-huh. So, hello, old Vincent. Um, Ah, oh, hey man, hey. <laughs> uh, is your, your chicken whole or has it been eaten?
oh, you know, just a few leftovers, that kind of thing. You know, you know. Is it it's, cold? It's, it's, it's been warmer before, that's for sure. <laughs> warmer? <laughs> uh, I think I'm... Oh, I just fired. Uh, I think I'm going to go to your pizza, <laughs> pizza crusts. Oh, you want some of the crusts, do you? Oh, okay. Yeah, I want all plenty. of the crusts. You want all of the crusts? Oh, come on. Save some for old... Old, I can't remember my name. <laughs> old Dirty Vincent. <laughs> old Dirty uh, Save some for old Dirty Vincent, man. Come on. Oh. Oh. What's happened? Oh, I'm back. Uh, I would I would like 17 stone of pizza crust. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. You want some of that good bread. Some of that crusty good bread. All right. Okay, yeah, I think <laughs> I I think the freezer crusts as well. To be fair, uh, it's got to be, hasn't it? It's got to be safer than leftover chicken wings, you know. Yeah, because chicken is going to be half eaten. Yeah. Also, also like uh, pizza crust is going to be heavier, isn't it? That's true. <laughs> You'd probably have to eat less to fill you up. Well, no, to to because it says eat your own body weight. Oh yeah, shit. So you could have a chicken wing. It's gonna have fuck all like chicken on that's, it. So ah, so I forgot about the body weight thing. That's a good point. Yeah. So with a pizza crust, because <laughs> people, I I really like the crust as well. I I like it, but it's just uh, it's too it, it does get a bit much bread. It, it is. Bit too much bread. But I it's can I be honest, it's my favourite part of the pizza. Is it really? Yeah. Did you ever have that hot dog stuffed crust? No. See I yeah. I'm uh Yeah you did. Look at you. <laughs> no, I didn't actually. You've got a, you got two chins that say otherwise, mate. <laughs> I look like a toe. <laughs> <laughs> um, Actually, <laughs> um, no, I didn't have it. I don't like I don't like stuffed crust either. What? No, because I'm a traditional man, you know. <laughs> okay, right. Let's I'll, we'll go with leftover pizza crusts then. I'm smacking my dog's ass. Yeah, baby. But he loves it. Thirty-three percent of people. That means sixty. 60- oh. 64% of people would rather have leftover chicken wings from a tramp of eights. Well, no, that's not right, is it? No, nah, it doesn't seem correct. No, you said 64. <laughs> yeah. That's, 90, that's 97. <laughs> no, six, 30, 30... Oh, yeah, no, you're right, yeah. <laughs> 67%, yeah, yeah, shit. <laughs> The other ones just want to eat Dirty Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> the other ones just chose death. <laughs> <laughs> right, what we got? Uh, would you rather get caught having sex with a 15-year-old girl and go to prison or have sex with an 11-year-old oh girl God. and nobody will ever find out? See, this is harder <laughs> for you because you've got kids, so... <laughs> <laughs> this is way harder for you. <laughs> for me, it's no prison. <laughs> oh, man. Because you're going to have to be a pedophile either way, right? This is this is my logic. You have to be a pedophile either way, right? 15 is closer to age of consent, obviously, because age of consent 16 over here. Yeah, which is, very Which close. is still rank, by the way. Uh <laughs> Just like, I still wouldn't go. <laughs> Say that without smirking. <laughs> I still wouldn't. I still wouldn't see a sixteen-year-old and be like, "Oh, hey, babes." I wouldn't. That's not my not my bad. No. But if you go to prison for that, you're gonna die. They're gonna kill you. They're gonna stab you. Well, you'd be in the you'd be in the nonce ward, wouldn't you? No, they'd they'd find a way. They'd find a way. Yeah, but you do. So then, you, then you're just hanging around with nonces. Yeah, yeah, that is grim. And there's no like... dif- there's no differentiation between nonces though, which is really weird because eleven years old is way worse than fifteen. Like if somebody was like, if if somebody was like in the nonce ward, they were like, "Oh, how old was your one?" And you were like fifteen, 
they might be like, oh, it's a bit old. They'd be like, we're going to stab him tonight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's pretty much an adult. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh. Oh. How Ten could years you? ago, she'd be stunning. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, like, just essentially... Because you're going to ruin lives either way. Yeah. But I'd you rather actually, not... You actually, you actually ruin less lives with the 11. <laughs> right? Because... Because <laughs> you don't ruin like, yours. Well, right, because you ruin yours. But if you go to prison for that, you ruin everyone around you, don't you? Uh, oh, yeah. Actually, I didn't think about that. I was just thinking about me. Yeah, that's... Yeah. That, that doesn't surprise me. Um, So, but, yeah, because, like... Even like your kids growing up, they're like your dad's a nonce. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas I could just live with that dirty secret. You'd be like your dad's a nonce, but you, that kid would be the son of the fifteen-year-old girl that you had sex with. So. Yeah. Yeah, I might let you answer this one officially. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go with. One of them. <laughs> My God. Thirty-seven <laughs> percent of people think the eleven-year-old. So yeah. There's some, there's, there's some good people out there. Some good people. I get out it. There. I get it. I I get it. I get it. Yeah. You think we'll get one TikTok clip out of this today? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, from any of that. Not from any of that. Um, (laughs) Would you rather watch porn for twenty minutes with your mum every day while fingering her? All right. (laughs) Or watch porn with your dad for twenty minutes every day (laughs) while he's masturbating on you. (laughs) Masturbating on me. Well, technically. You'd think only the last bit would be masturbating on you, but that that means that, like, I'm sitting there and then he sits, like, on me. (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, I'm peeking over his shoulder. (laughs) Trying to watch the film. (laughs) Yeah, and he's just flogging his log. (laughs) Imagine your dad sitting on you, like, bollock naked. (laughs) That's weird (laughs) enough, isn't it? Uh... God, you mean remember, not imagine. What's the problem with your dad for? Tw- well, oh, what? oh, yeah, it's for 20 minutes. It would have to be my dad. Yeah, I, I agree. I think this is quite a quick one. It's got to be your dad. Because I'm not doing anything to him either, am I? No, you're just laying there while he masturbates on you. Yeah. Watching porn. Well, yeah, so at least I get some enjoyment, I suppose. Yeah. It does to be That'd fair, be... it doesn't No, it I was doesn't just say... gonna say like um it'd be interesting to see what he searches, you know? <laughs> yeah, you know I'm, I'm I'm like... interesting, yeah. It'd be awkward if you have the same, you know. Style. Yeah. Like he well, that watches... would be awkward. Yeah, well like he watches um, you know, stepson, stepmum. But he thinks he's the the dad because he's a cuck, oh, okay. and you're like, oh, yeah. my dad's a, my dad's a cuck. Ugh. Well, yeah. Imagine. I think just... that. I think that realization would be worse than him masturbating on you. What about if the first letter's a G, and you're like, and then it's an A, and you're like, <laughs> and then it's all on that third letter, isn't it? <laughs> And you, it... and then you have to. No, do you know what? That's weirdly would make it worse. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> There's either going to be an N for gangbang or a Y for gay. No, I mean, like, thing is, is <laughs> if it's straight porn, right? And your dad's yeah. masturbating, your dad's masturbating on you. It's kind of okay, but mm. <laughs> if it's gay porn and he's doing that, 
it feels weird now. <laughs> it feels weird now. It was fine before, but now it feels weird. Yeah, because then you're like, has he got oh. hard that quick because he's sitting on me? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Also, like, no judgment or anything, but you'd look at your dad a bit differently. Yeah. No, complete judgment. You're not going <laughs> to... There's really no judgment. Oh, what, no, you mean for the, gay, the, the gay stuff? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm saying, like, oh. it's, not, it's not wrong that he's watching gay stuff. Oh, no, no, no. 2024, man. Yeah, but 2024. I'm just saying... It's like, at work, we were saying that, like, if if we're talking and then I said, oh, yeah, I just love getting pegged. Like, no judgment, but you'd look at someone very differently, wouldn't you? Yeah, you would. You would. So before, when you were like, oh, no, he's he's peg free. You know, like, <laughs> he's pegless. He's know? peg free. Yeah, but <sighs> once you realise that, like, you know, he's on all fours, knees shaking, <laughs> toes are curling. That can't be good afterwards, can it? What, pegging? Is there anything more emasculating than, like, your mess is just slamming you from behind? Oh, I'm not. It doesn't... Like, if I wanted that, I'd just be gay, because I'm, I'm sure a gay guy could do it better than a woman can. Yeah, with a fake penis. Yeah, just use a real one. Feel some real meat in you. It's like me sticking like a, a fake clit on my <laughs> forehead. <laughs> and my missus go, oh, 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 oh. you know what I mean? Like, that would be weird, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, that would be weird. That would be weird. <laughs> I suppose that's not, I don't know why I chose head, I'll be honest. Um, I suppose it's like me putting some kind of like rubber nappy on, which has got like an inbuilt vagina. Um, <laughs> and then I go and then just scissor in with her or something. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be like, this would be a lot easier if you just was a lesbian, you know? Yeah. You've gone, well, you've gone to pretty, some pretty extreme lengths to say that you're not gay. <laughs> Like I walk in and I've got <laughs> I've got this weird nappy thing on. I've got a big set of fake <laughs> I've got a wig on, high heels. <laughs> yeah, just be gay, man. Just be a lesbian. And I'm like, hello. Oh, oh, Jordan bought me out. I don't know what lesbians say. And then um. And then, yeah, then she just goes to town, of course. Because also, like, the woman's not getting anything out of that. Yeah. Well, it's a power play, I guess. Get off me, dickhead. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> All this gay chat's got to my dog. Get off! <laughs> uh, so I think I think porn with your dad, isn't it? So what, are, what is the woman getting out of that? It's a power thing, I think. But does she frig herself afterwards, or? I don't know. I think it's literally just a power thing, like you know how you like as a guy, you, and if you're straight, you don't really want to have sex with a girl's butthole. You just like that it represents like what she'll do for you. <laughs> what? You, know? you, you you like what the butthole represents for a girl. You don't actually like the butt because the the puss is way better than the butthole. So it's like, but if you yeah. if you're Oh my god, yeah. It's so much better. It's so much better. At least ten to twelve times better. I don't I I don't know if I agree. I don't think you know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> I'm I'm yeah, I'm not sure. I agree. Ten to twelve times better as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's quite a lot. Well, it's, it's got heat, it's got moisture, it's got everything you want. It's got everything you want in a thing that you're going to put your penis in. I feel like you've never had sex with a woman. <laughs> oh, no. <nah. laughs> <laughs> Me? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> hey, come on, man. It's me. <laughs> hey, it's S-Man. It's S-Man. <laughs> yes, dog. 
Let's <laughs> dark. Right, let's go over to watch the porn with your dad. Then. Oh, it is. Okay, right. What was that one then? Fifty-seven percent of people agree. So, oh, so we got that right then. Well, forty-three percent of people would would still finger their mums. Oh, here's an interesting uh, thing, actually. Hmm. Um, what what do you think a woman would say to that? She might prefer to stick a finger in her mum than watch her dad to ejac on top of her. I think I think it'd still be the same. I think it would be. Do you? I think yeah. I think the the forty something percent are just all the men that really want to finger their mums. <laughs> Do you not think it's different for women though? I think that that 40%, uh, they were looking for this, would you rather, for ages. And they were like, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they go like, oh, I have to do this now. Yeah, yeah. And their dad's like, oh, man, I really wish you picked <laughs> my one. And they're like, no, I'm going to finger Mum. Yeah. And he's like, oh, man. Oh, really cute. wanted to wank on top of someone whilst watching <laughs> some gay porn. You know, but uh, I don't know. Right? What is the name? No, I think uh, probably. Yeah, I think you might be right. I think they might end up going for their mum. I just think it's weird though because, like, still, there's you're not doing anything when somebody's wanking on you. But yeah, but women are quite touchy with it and like showy with like. That's true. You see what I mean? Like they're very like. They do that kind of stuff, don't they? Well, I want to think of their mum. Not, not that, kind, but you know, like, like you know my, what women my... are like constantly <laughs> fingering their mums. <laughs> yeah, they're always <laughs> dipping a finger. Always doing a little oil check on their mum. Um, oh, classic! It's a classic thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, what's uh, what's Barbara up today? <laughs> up to today. <laughs> Oh, she just <laughs> popped over her mum's, give her a cheeky finger. <laughs> she goes that, she's like, smell that, smell that. That's my mum, that is. <laughs> oh. Don't you think... Ah. <laughs> oh. That's like a fucking car battery. Jesus <laughs> Christ. That's like quavers. Well, she is 93. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know how many more fingers she's got left in her, you know? That's the... <laughs> Well, all I know is I put four in and only three came out. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't, you know, like I remember, like my missus is qualified beauty therapist, and there's just a... yeah, no, no, so, so no, just day... where, I don't know where this is going. That's why I laugh. Oh. So there was a day in college, and they all had to pick a partner and just wax each other, but like, yeah, that is weird down there right so i was like so you've seen everyone's food and she's like yeah and i'm like the whole class and she's like yeah we're just kind of lined up bed by bed and it was just which, kind of like which class is this <laughs> <laughs> i like you think of like uh i don't know like the alternative for men like imagine me and you going to college <laughs> and she's like <laughs> Uh, today, lads, uh, we've got to uh, do some manscaping. So uh, if you could just all pair up, uh, whip your pubes out, and then uh, and then I just look at you like, yeah, uh, <laughs> and you're like, yeah, we're like, this is gonna be a good day. <laughs> we just run up and chest bump each other. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, my man, you, my man. <laughs> <laughs> like grabbing my cock, like yay! Go <laughs> Look at this! Look at this shave job I did! Oh, and everyone's just round of applause. Just <laughs> and then, like you've got um, like you just hear, that, sir, sir, uh, James isn't in today, so that we've got odd numbers, and he's like, oh, well, sorry, son, you're gonna have to come shave my pubes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, I'm like, oh, you fucking, you have to shave Mr. Williams' pubes. Because <laughs> I'm gay. just shaving, <laughs> I'm shaving Sam's fucking gooch. Because <laughs> I think, like, boys would have a laugh with it, wouldn't they? They'd be like, like trying to like, I don't know, like draw a little crop circle willy in your in your pubes and stuff. You know what I mean? Well, Mr. Williams would be walking around afterwards and be like, "That <laughs> that is smooth as a baby's bum." That is. He's got to go examine them. <laughs> What's that stubble? What is that stubble? I feel that's pathetic. You're better than that. You think someone's gonna peg you if if you've got that stubble gun on there? No chance. No You expect to get a right. wife like that? <laughs> You're a disgrace. You're a disgrace, Murphy. Get out. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. All right, <laughs> next one. Would you, would you rather have sex with a donkey or have everyone think you had sex with a donkey? Oh, God. It depends if you're doing or receiving, I think, with this one. Well, I think in both of these, you're probably giving, I would imagine. Giving? Yeah, you're trying, because it says, would you have sex with a donkey? So, like, yeah, have sex with, with a donkey, yeah. So, not a donkey, have sex with you. So, um, Yeah, okay, fair enough. I suppose in this, it's not like it's a rumour. Everyone's going to think 100% you've had sex with a donkey, isn't it? Yeah, that's going to make it really difficult to have sex with anyone else after the donkey. So you might as well just fuck the donkey, to be fair. Yeah, it's, it's a like um, a couple of minutes of regret or it's a lifetime of everyone going donkey fucker. Yeah. Do you reckon everyone? It's like you go into the bank and they're like, did you fuck a donkey? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like... Every everyone like your nan writes to you in a car, dear donkey fucker. You know what I mean? We're having hey, a great uh, time in Al Alcudia. Hey Anne, um yeah, um donkey fucker wants to make a withdrawal <laughs> from the bank. <laughs> That's everyone. So you can't like move because everyone knows. Every time you go to like a every time you go to a cafe. You ask for a black coffee, but they they've snuck donkey semen in there, and they're like, ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> everyone's <laughs> dying. Everyone's just laughing. And like in Starbucks, they're like, "What's your name?" And you're like, uh, "Ryan." And they're like, "Okay." And they're like, uh, "Ice coffee for donkey fucker." <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's that, or you just you just have sex with the donkey. Yeah, so I think sex with the donkey's easier, actually. Yeah, man. I don't. How long do you think it would last? That because it it doesn't say you finish, does it? Do you, are we assuming to completion here? I mean, if I'm honest, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it properly. <laughs> you said, mate, I'm not gonna just dip it and then dip, dip, dip and dip. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know. Yeah, but have you ever had? Have you seen like a horse have sex? Yeah. Like they, they'll dip in uh, and then they'll do like one big thrust and then they're done. Ah. Well, they have a fluffer, don't they? Have you heard of that? Was... Yeah, yeah. They say it's like the worst job in the world. Well, where you wank off a, a horse. No, no, no. So they get like a little pony in first and he warms the woman up. What? It's like a little pony comes in and he has sex with the female. And no. then they, yeah, yeah, and then they pull him out before, um, yeah, type in fluffer pony. <laughs> um, uh, okay. Honestly, <laughs> you just brought up porn. <laughs> and then I type in, type in fluffer pony and you're like, mm, I don't know if I should. <laughs> like, what's going to happen? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not a myth. Fluffer pony. There we go. No, I don't think I can read that. Fluffy pony. <laughs> oh, mare, mare teasing. 
Is that what it is? Well, it's, it says mad teasing. With breeding se oh. Oh, bollocks. With breeding it's season like fast approaching, the broodmare farm managers take behind the scenes into the barns for as teasing begins. Teasing is an effective process that can determine a mare's uteral cycle and allows oh, for effective timing of stallion covers. But he's not allowed to come in her. But yeah, he's usually like his little mate, I think. Teasing a stallion. He, he comes out all sweaty, like, yeah, she's ready for you, mate. And he's like, thank you. Walks in, bow. It doesn't say anything about having a warm-up guy. Go, it, it'd be up more on like you know on the under the Google question things. If you go back, it'll probably be under that. I imagine. Like, uh, what's that? What does teasing a mare mean? Oh yeah, let's go for that. When teasing a stallion is put in close proximity with the mare, so that one can look for signs of ovulation. Oh, you know what? I've seen this done. Have you seen this video? No. Nah. The mare kills. <clears throat> so you can watch this video as well. I don't think you even want to watch it. But um they had like a really expensive, I want to say it was like over a hundred grand in America, uh stallion, right? And yeah. uh he's parading they're parading them round in circles. Yeah. And the mayor is just like going a bit nuts. And um she starts bucking, right? And kicking out, but they bring the male too close to her, and she kicks him in the forehead. Oh Jesus! And kill kills the horse instantly. Really? Yeah. Type in mayor kills prize horse. Type that in. Yeah, because that'll be like, on YouTube, and I don't want to fucking have to like, cut it out. Oh, I see. He like slumps on his side and then shits himself, so you know he's dead because like all your bowels release, don't they? And you shit yourself. <laughs> yeah, you know, like when you're hung. Yeah. Not yeah, like I know. penis, penis wise. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> when you've been when you've been hangs. Uh, uh, um, that's the problem you're... with having a big penis. Actually, is I'm constantly shitting myself. <laughs> <laughs> It's trying to force the blood in. You just go, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. no. I you still want to my... do this. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, there you go. He's lying down. Fuming with that dog. Um, okay, His so mother's at Harry you... Potter World, so he's fuming. Oh, Harry Potter World's pretty good. Have you been? No. Yeah, it's all right. My whole family are there now. Fifty-one percent of people agree that they oh, would. Fuck we a won horse. that one. Yeah, we did win that one. Um, what? So you didn't want to go to Harry Potter World? No, you look like like a cross between Hagrid and Sirius Black. <laughs> Don't you? Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> and a fucking dress. <laughs> um, you like crab and goyle. You like crabs. You look like crabs sucked on goyle's asshole. I don't know who either of them people are. Well, the, the audience that aren't watching this do. <laughs> so, so that <laughs> gets lost on one? everyone. <laughs> they're just, uh, yeah, they're two fat guys that are, are just hang about and do some stuff. Okay. Um, yeah. This next one's really easy. Pull your teeth out of pliers or cut off one ear. It's one ear, isn't it? It's just one ear, isn't it? Yeah. Pull out your teeth with pliers. But imagine pulling one tooth out with pliers, right? Yeah, my dad does that shit. Now imagine doing it again like 24 times. Or yeah. whatever. Or you've just got to cut one ear off. Yeah. And it he should... doesn't even... It, it should be to... both ears for the question. It doesn't even have to be your ear, by the sounds of things. Yeah, what if I just cut my dog's ear off? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what if I cut off a pig's ear? 
I'd probably do it wrong. I'd make a right pig's ear of it. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> oh, go me. Go me. Right. Um, <laughs> I can tell you liked it. Mm, you liked that it. Was... No. You don't want to encourage it, but you did like it. I wouldn't say either. <laughs> <laughs> right, so no cut. This, if this isn't ninety eight percent, then this is retarded. Oh, I've got to reload it to forty four percent. More people would rather pull out all of their teeth. <laughs> with a plight, with plight. Oh, I think they should be made to do it. <laughs> they should be made to do it. You're right. I don't say this often, but you, you might, you could be right there. No. <laughs> <laughs> what is this one? Uh, would you rather masturbate with a cheese grater whilst coming into a small kitten? Ah, oh, Jesus. Um, use <laughs> or use grater as a dildo and let your let your family <laughs> let your family watch. Oh, <laughs> um, I mean. It has to be the second one, right? <laughs> well, I was just thinking about the the coming into a small kitten isn't that bad, but well, I isn't mean, it? It's... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sam. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not good by any stretch. But, uh, yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, the worst bit about that is masturbating with a cheese grater. Yeah, it's not... So I what mean, would you how'd rather... You... How'd you get a grater up your ass? I guess you can, you can still have the grater thing, but just shape it as a dildo, so that it's got all the, like, scrapey bits on it, but it's just dildoized. Dildoized? Yeah. But it's, I mean, your penis, it's, it's essentially without the kit in it, do you rip your arsehole to pieces or do you rip your penis to pieces? And I pretty much rip my arsehole to pieces on a daily basis with the biggest shits the world's ever seen. So I, I bet you do. I bet you do. Yeah, I do some. I've been, I had one the other day and it was so hot. Like, it was just like, like I did it in a portal and I could feel it lapping up onto the like the bottom of my thighs, like how oh. hot it was. <laughs> like when you have a shit in a portal, it just sits there until you have to get up and flush it yourself. <laughs> I know. So, like... I use the portal. What's that? I said I don't know. I use the portal. Oh, you have? No, some yeah. people have. Like, you know what I mean? Um, some people have things called offices. <laughs> 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 Some people are trusted to work inside, unlike me. So, uh, um, but like, um, yeah, I yeah, had one where obviously because it's on weight as well, like some of them. So, I like, had the first part of it, which was logs, and that all went down. And then I just had a squirty bum, okay. like, afterwards. And it just, like, chocolate mousse type stuff. You know what I mean? Like, and yeah. uh, it was just the heat was like it was more it was more like a fondue, <laughs> chocolate fondue because the heat of it. Yeah, like I wouldn't quite say cow pat because <laughs> there was some like it's like an angel delight kind of that type of angel delight. <laughs> oh yeah, I haven't had angel delight in ages. I'm not gonna yeah. do that either. You want it though, does it? That. <laughs> but yeah, portals are like the worst things ever, really. Yeah, they're not great, are they? Because when it's cold, it's like freezing. Mm. But when it's hot, it's like you know the sweat box on um, Django. Yeah. It's like that having a shit in one of them. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I I I worked on a farm in uh, in Australia, and it was South Australia in the winter. So in the morning, it was like uh, zero to two degrees, and then in in the mm. afternoon, it was like 
26, 20 to 28 degrees. Uh, yeah, yeah. So there must have been like a sweet spot. There was, the yeah. It was like the best time to poo. <laughs> yeah, you know but that? I don't have that much control where I can squeeze it out on the sweet spot. Like eight in the morning, it was just like 10 degrees, like, oh, perfect popping over. <laughs> so we're going to forget, uh, use a greater dildo, yeah? That's what I, yeah, I didn't even factor in that the family are watching, but I could just, as I'm like in pain, like, ah, ah. Ah! <laughs> just go at least I'm not coming into a kitten you know <laughs> a small kitten small kitten <laughs> barely born a barely and they born don't kitten. really know about us so they're just like why have you invited us round and started dildoing <laughs> your ass with a cheese grater what is this all about <laughs> you always do this <laughs> 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 Every Christmas, he said this would be different. <laughs> Just before midnight mass. <laughs> right, everyone, this time. No, 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 please. I'm doing it. It's just tradition. Uh, all right. So, Use greater oh. as a dildo. Oh. Come on. Dildo. Dil Fifty nine percent of people agree. So forty one percent of people would rather come into a small, small kitten. <laughs> uh, what about strap somebody onto a circular table upright and then cut through their left leg whilst listening to classical music, then fry the meat cut from the person. Okay, that's very in depth. <laughs> this one, or. Drive until you see a woman's car door open while she is filling up her fuel and then jump in the back seat without her knowing and go on the journey. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's got to be the journey. What it? kind of autistic weirdo wrote this question? <laughs> it's got to be the journey. It's got to be. This is like my dogs written this question. Like they've worked out how... <laughs> Like a dog to speak English, and this is the question he comes up with. What the fuck is this shit? Strap some to like, <clears throat> like almost be like a cannibal listening to classical music, pretty much. Yeah, or just jump in the back of some woman's car. Yeah, well, yeah, it's, it's clearly just jump in the back of someone's car. There's just they've just added loads of detail. And it's just not. That's pretty much what that one is. That one, the the what the, the first one, is hmm. needs the detail, and the second one is, do you want to jump into the back of a girl a woman's car without her knowing? That's it. That's that's the. Yeah, it's like he's he's added woman to say that that's more creepy, I suppose. But yeah, but I'm not gonna jump into the back of a man's car, am I? I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a homo like my dad. Oh, fucking, am I gay? <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. Plus, so, I don't even have any balls that big to cut anyone, so. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, man. No, it's just... It's... <clears throat> Why does oh, she have to fill it up petrol? <laughs> it's, a, it's a good point. It's a good point. <laughs> Why is it that? Why is it, is it that oddly specific? Mm. Like, the other one makes sense, like a circular table upright, you know, so they're on a table that will drain the blood if you do cut their leg off. Classical music, not necessarily important. Hannibal Lecter, isn't it? I suppose. Yeah. Kind of vibe. I, I, I'm going on the journey, I think. Yeah, going on the one where you're not murdering someone, I suppose. Yeah, that makes more sense, doesn't it? Uh, twenty-two percent of people <laughs> agree with us. So more, more people would rather. <laughs> this is one of those things that you said earlier about that they, they did that bit, but they were at a cannibal convention, and they were like, "Who the hell is choosing to go on a journey?" <laughs> yeah. They're like, "I get car sick." <laughs> so fucking hell. 
I get far too car sick. Yeah, that would be hell for me. That would be hell for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, this uh, one is absolutely shit. They're very painful. Yeah, but we might be able to use this one on TikTok. <laughs> okay, right. Do it properly then. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Would you rather be a very famous person or eat whatever you want and don't get overweight? So poorly written as well. Don't get yeah. overweight. Just but don't get fat. Yeah. People are just so upset about being about saying fat. Just say fat. I mean, Although just put a big old fatty fat McChubster or something, you well, know? There goes our TikTok. Can't say no, no, no. All the people really. Oh, I was going to say body positive. We'll get all the tapes in, won't we? All the tape fans. Like we'll get all, we'll get all the tape fans in. Yeah, they'll love this. Yeah. <laughs> we have to be more tape. We'll be like, what are you talking about? Be famous. <laughs> I already fucking am famous. <laughs> I'm the most famous man you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> I eat whatever I want, pussy. <laughs> and I eat pussy. Pussy. Perfect. It's perfect. So I match both of these things, you fucking retard. <laughs> That's for all my tapes. This is going to get... This is going to... Yeah, yeah. This is it. This is the one. Up, what? Can't do a tea with one hand, but yeah. If I could. A's up for Andrew, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll do what I want, because I'm top G. I'm fucking... I'm top G, bruv. All right? Bruv. <laughs> Eat whatever I want. And I'm famous. Yeah. See, so... <laughs> so both of them. Can I'll I do pick both? both I'll pick both. Both. Speaks weird, doesn't he? Like, it's very weird. Yeah, I think it's because he's like English, but he's also like he lived in America for a while, didn't he? Or he's American and he lived. <laughs> in, I don't know, one of those, something like that. Is he from Luton or Bristol? Luton. It is Luton, is it? Yeah. What? So Luton have produced Andrew Tate and Tommy Robinson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although yeah, wow. the EDL they and the yeah, that, that's what uh, Tommy Robinson, the the founder of the EDL, yeah, yeah, that's quite impressive, isn't it? Yeah, they uh, they have produced some some people around there. Produced some people. You ever seen the program um, Twenty Four Hours in Police Custody? No, that's all based in Luton as well. I used to live in Luton. Did you? Yeah, I did. I went to university in Luton. Oh, fuck me. What do they teach there? Car jacket. <laughs> you know, once we heard about, they were like, stay indoors because there's somebody that's walking around with a, uh, a hatchet. Okay. And uh, and apparently he'd chop somebody's hand off. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Good times. Good times. <laughs> Was that your professor? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your lecturer. My lecturer. Uh. Are you sure it wasn't just uh, Michael Hackett? No. <laughs> Pretty good. This guy. This guy. The three people who will get that. Pretty good. Yeah. yeah that is anyway. actually... That's better than the pig's ear joke, I would say. Okay, let's not get crazy. Let's, <laughs> <laughs> let's not get crazy, man. <laughs> right, so... <laughs> Go on, then pick, eat whatever you want. I think. It's obvious, I mean, I think it? the thing is, I think if you get, if you get famous, you just do whatever you want, basically. Who wants to be a very famous person, though? No yeah, one. Yeah, I don't really want to be very famous. I don't want to be famous at all. Well, that's what I mean, because like... it's never going to happen. So <laughs> everyone at home's like, "What? Are you serious right now?" Yeah. <laughs> But, like, you think very famous, like, Prince, like Prince. Harry, Kardashians, Kanye West. Yeah, they're all Dick. mental as well, aren't they? They're all mental. 
Yeah, because they live Tom Cruise. Yeah. They live a weird life where they can't do anything. Like, have you ever seen the video where like Michael Jackson got, hires all those people <laughs> in the supermarket and he like walks around and he's like, "Hi, do you know where the bread aisle is, please?" <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't, I haven't seen that. Tom Fourteen. What's that? I haven't seen that. Yeah, like. Because he, he's got no normality other than, like, you know, making banging tracks and fucking kids. It, there's no normality in his life, you know? Wait, did you say that fucking kids was a normality? I said that's the only normality, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So Sorry. there's no normality except making banging <laughs> tracks and fucking kids. Yeah, no, sorry, 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 sorry. I made a faux pas there, didn't I? <laughs> Allegedly. Uh, yeah, but he's just there. Yeah, because all he... Obviously, like, everyone spends a hundred million saying that they didn't have sex with kids, don't they? Well, this is... Look, again, we can't... You, this is not TikTokable. <laughs> <laughs> you can cut this bit out, right? <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's eat whatever you want. Obviously, obviously, it's that. Let me think. Forty-one percent of people agree with us, so most people would rather be very. That makes sense, though. I think lots of people do want to be famous <laughs> just because they do. Sorry, I've just read the next one. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather be raped by a Teletubby? Or raped by the Black Power Ranger. <laughs> Why have they picked the Black Power Ranger? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Because I don't. I never. Statistically more likely to rape. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not anything, Kabul, is it? No, no, it's not. It's not. Um, Get raped by a I suppose at least you could watch TV while the telly telly raped you, I suppose. What kind of channels did they have? You can watch TV whilst the telly telly raped you. Yeah, okay, I suppose so. Right. I think we should steer clear of the black power range. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I don't think they mean like the one that is black, because like, I think they mean like the one that is the black suit. Yeah, but why the black one? That is weird, isn't it? Because again, I don't. I never watched it, so I don't know. Was he a baddie or? No, he wasn't. He was, I think the Black Power Ranger is a good guy. Oh, okay. But um, it is weird. It is almost like they're saying the black person that is the Power Ranger. Yes, they are, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, because why would you specify? Because they haven't specified the Teletubby, and there's loads. No, of they didn't say the purple one. No, they didn't. Did they? Didn't did they? You know, he's actually on, like, he's a comedian, the purple one. Yeah, I met him. Is it Dave Thompson? Something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that's him, yeah. Yeah. He's really cool, actually. Is he? Yeah, he looks different. Well, yeah, he doesn't look like a, a fucking Teletubby, does he? <laughs> yeah, he's not He's not aged very well. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> uh, right, so, steering clear of the Power Ranger... <laughs> Um, if we were to go for Teletubby, I think so. I think it would be. No, no, no. But what, what one are you going for? Oh, mm, it's got to be Tinky. I think it's got to be Tinky Winks. Not Poe. No, I don't want to be. I don't want to be raped by the small one. I'd feel too emas emas emasculated. I always thought that Lala was the girl. Uh, I think they're all girls except Tinky Winky, weren't they? Really? I always thought they were guys. Yeah, Tinky Winky was like banging all of them. No. That's why Dips. he was called Tinky Winks. <laughs> Be a ham. <laughs> Imagine old Nunu sucking on you. That's what that's what Dave Thompson said when he came up to me. He was like, you know, well they called him Tinky Winky, didn't you? <laughs> Massive cock. Yeah, he was like Hey, was he was Tinky Winky, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Yeah, they were huge, weren't they? Like they were like eight foot tall or something. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I thought they were all like boys, and apart from Lala, 
but I don't they know. have joy, they have fun, there's a baby in the sun. <clears throat> right. Remember when that like kept going viral because she's like really fit and then it and then she had a baby and it just kept going viral about that. Well the the sun baby had a baby. <clears throat> so first of all it was like the sun baby's eighteen, look how hot hot she is. And then now it's like, oh, and the sun baby's had a baby. Do you feel yeah, people... old yet? And you're like, <laughs> It's just news, really. Well, you know, like when you see those things and it'll say, like, 15 celebrities, don't they look different now? And it's like from 15 years ago, obviously they look fucking different now. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do know what you mean. Like, I clicked on one once and it was like 10 celebs you didn't know were gay. <laughs> right? And number one... <laughs> Number one was Tom Daly. Everyone knows. <laughs> you know the guy knitting? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that guy. That's the one they said no one knew. I know, was... I know who Tom Daly is. No, 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 but I'm saying like the guy knitting and the Oh, right, yeah. And they're like, no one knew he was gay. Well, the one that's clearly gay, like every time he did an interview, it was like... Yeah, that one. Yeah, he was number one. <laughs> <laughs> number ten was Rylan. <laughs> number ten was Rylan. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know it's the weirdest thing though, is that is that back in the day, like people mm. would watch Freddie Mercury and George Michael and be like, I can't believe people think these guys are gay. <laughs> like, but he's so cool. <laughs> yeah, these are the coolest, most masculine guys I've ever seen. They're like, next you'll be saying Elton John's gay, you fucking yeah. homo. Yeah. <laughs> well, so he's, stupid. He's there, like, speckled glasses talking about Rocket Man. Like, how gay can you get? <laughs> Rocket Man. Come on now. <laughs> That's as gay as it gets. <laughs> So stupid, but yeah, yeah. That, it's, it's got to be the telly tubby, I think. Yeah, let's go for it. Because right, people into that as well, like fairy. I suppose you got the rape that's... aspect. Maybe they're a bit rough with you, but that's true. Rape's maybe the fun. fur, maybe the furry gets a bit uh, being tough, rough of you. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh no, this one's horrible. Find nine dead babies in one wheelie bin, or find one dead baby in nine wheelie bins. It's the same though, isn't it? I think, I think I've got to go for the one. Yeah, it just means you have to do less. <laughs> you know, you don't have to move them then, do you? You can just like, you can pick up the bin, put it straight on the back of the bin lorry, and not like worry about it. Yeah, just walk it down to the curb and wait for someone to figure out. <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah, I do know Whereas what you mean. Whereas if it's nine, it gets a bit suspect, doesn't it? It's like, why have you got nine bins outside your house? Oh, there's a dead baby in each one of them. You know? <laughs> Whereas if you, like, put some dominoes on top of nine dead babies, probably <laughs> a good chance it's going to get taken, right? <laughs> some dominoes. <laughs> yeah, but one's got nine babies and one's got one baby, so surely it's the le least amount of babies, is the No, because it's one in nine, so it's still nine babies. No, it's one dead baby split across nine wheelie bins. So they've dismembered it and cut it up. Oh, I thought they meant like one in each. No, 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 no. That's why I was like, it's the same amount. It doesn't matter. Oh, well, yeah, I'd rather one baby die. Yeah, of course. Yeah, no. I'd rather I'd rather none personally, Ryan. But okay, <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's the one I stabbed earlier. <laughs> yeah, well, we did cut his limb off, didn't we? <laughs> Had to do that nine times. <laughs> nine. So that's four. So body, right? Yeah, Head, that's two. And then two and two. So that's only six. So where are you making up the three, do you reckon? 
Uh, so you cut the feet off, cut the hands off. That's four. Cut the That's legs too many. off. That's Cut too the many. arms, arms off. Five, six, seven, eight, and then just put the rest in one bin. That what you do. Well, I mean, it'd be that's probably what I'd do, yeah. <laughs> that's a weird thing to do, man. <laughs> right, let's go for one, one dead baby. One dead baby. Thirty-two percent of people would rather. I mean, so that means sixty-eight percent of people would rather find nine dead babies in one bin. Hmm. Laziness, you see. <laughs> they don't want to open eight more bins than they need to. Well, yeah, like you say as well, they could have just they could just put a Domino's on top of it and take it to the curb, couldn't they? Well, yeah, I've already eaten all the crust out of there, haven't I? <laughs> Call back. <laughs> yeah, old Vincent's gonna be uh, gonna be shocked when he looks in there. Well, his no son's crust. dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's going on? Why is there no crusts in here? Oh, my bad, the dead babies. No, damn. Oh, no, no. <laughs> damn. Oh, they're going to think that I did this. No. I don't kill kids. <laughs> I kill badgers. I just kill badger. Look at my coat. It's a badger coat, man. I'm not wearing any kid coat. What's going on? He's got a badger coat, badger hat, badger shoes, badger bag. <laughs> <laughs> and to be fair, he kills them like by hand as well. Like, mm. like he and doesn't use any weapons. Sometimes the local kids shout, um, "Hey, old Vincent, transform!" And then he like lays down and he looks like he's just a giant badger. Yeah, you're like, wow, who's that giant badger? Yeah. But he doesn't he doesn't know how to do the badger noise, so he goes, meow. <laughs> meow. <laughs> Everyone's like, what's that? Meow. Why, is that Why is that giant badger making the sound of a cat? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one's stupid. This one does suck. It's Mr. Let's try, let's try this. What? Uh, fail every class in school, but everyone was proud and happy for you. Or press every, uh, pass every class in school, but everyone hates and envies you. Well, I did the first one, so probably just the first one. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good point. It's yeah. a good point. Yeah. I don't know what the second one feels like. Yeah. That's Why would point. everyone hate you for passing it from my class? So would you rather, man? They might. <laughs> it could happen. Yeah, your family are just disgusted with you that you got all A's. Did you hear about Ryan? No, what about him, mate? He got uh, he uh, he got really good scores on his on his test. I always hated that guy. <laughs> they just spit on the floor. <laughs> it's just your dad telling him, right? But <laughs> he's wanking <laughs> the gay porn way. He sits <laughs> up and you're just looking over his shoulder, going, "Yeah, I'm really sorry about that." I did quite a lot. Of a lot of revision for that, and they're like, Fuck <laughs> hell. What is wrong with you? <laughs> My dad's just spitting into his hand. Imagine that. All right, let's do a let's do a scene. I'll I'll play you play someone that passed every class in school, all right? And I'll yeah. be the job interviewer. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. All right. Uh, so Ryan, it says here that you um, you got A stars and everything at school. Yeah, yeah, I really, really applied myself, and um, I think that that's why I'll be a, a fantastic member of your organization. How about fuck you? Yeah, oh. we can't hire you. Oh. 
What? Why not? Well, one, yeah, because we're looking for a diversity hire. But two, because you keep doing really well, and everyone hates and envies you. Oh, yeah. Would Would you rather if I came in there with Fs? You know what? That would be better. That would be better. And I was black. <laughs> <laughs> That would be ideal. Oh, I see. So, so your hiring policy is dumb young black guys. I mean, if you've got anyone's number. Um, I've got a friend called Shaquan. He sounds perfect. He's thicker than two planks, man. Yep, yeah, call him up. And what is this job? Is it NASA, right? You know it. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. <laughs> obviously it is, yeah. Because obviously space is fake, right? Obviously. Obviously. Can you believe there's like globists? Globists? Yeah, like they think... Like, they just think it's round. Oh, all right. But they've never seen any, like, any confirmation of this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know, like, like the you, you drip water onto a football. Goes on the floor, right? <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, whereas, yeah. like... If I put it in my sink and put the plug in, where does it go then? <laughs> Case closed. Case right? closed. Case closed, man. Case closed. People don't think like that, do they? No, they they really don't. And you know like, what? I don't even. I don't have enough knowledge of science to argue with anything that you've just said. So, you could uh, never. You could um, never. That's it. That's it. By the by the way, they they always say this about like the water falling off the earth, yeah. But like if it was flat, what is stopping it from going off the edge? Are they saying that there's a raised edge? I think so, yeah. That's what they're saying that the um the Antarctica is. It's like a an ice shelf that goes all the way around the world. <laughs> And that stops the water. Yeah. So what's underneath us then? Well, some people think that past the ice shelf, there's like an extra world. I, I the problem is like with flat Earth is that even within flat Earth, they don't agree. Yeah, well, that's the same with anything, isn't it? But like, some of them think it's like all like like just loads of flat earths um and then like yes yeah, so like over the ice shelf will just be like other flat earths um and then yeah. like people like steve jobs just fly over the wall and like bring back technology and stuff yeah like yeah and then some of them think that we're in like a bell jar type thing, like there's a glass roof over us or something. And the sun is just like like an animation they bring up or something. <laughs> I just feel like these people will have too much time on their hands. <laughs> I just and what do they The problem is I think a lot of people said to them at the start, what do people gain? from it being round. So they've had to come up with a backstory as to, like, there's all these worlds that are more advanced and stuff. And it's like... It's just fucking nuts, isn't it? You know what I mean? Like, It is nuts. It is what, nuts. Is, what is... Do you believe in any conspiracies? Um... <clears throat> 
I can't. I don't know. List off a few, and I'll let you know. Well, I don't know ones you believe in. Well, no, list off a few conspiracies because I can't think of any right now. Oh, like uh, okay. Did um, Lee Harvey Oswald shoot JFK? I I don't know. You've never looked into that one. No. I mean, that's quite obvious that he didn't really, but. Um, Does it matter though? I mean, like he's dead, isn't he? It's like it's not going to change. What they try? What what's going to happen if this turns out to be true? Well, it's most likely the FBI sh- got him killed because I think it was either the FBI or CIA because he was going to like disband them or something. Yeah, but then what are the if you've got people that are doing that? Like, what are the government going to do if they get found that the FBI were did that? Nothing. The FBI are going to still continue to run. They're just going to be like, oh, yeah, we did that. And even if they decide to shut them down, there's going to be like a splinter cell of it, and then they'll just go off and do their own thing. Well, they'll just be like a um, uh, some kind of patsy, weren't they? Yeah. Like, um, have you ever seen The Dissident? No. Uh, it's a documentary about... Um... Uh, the guy who runs Saudi Arabia. Um, and there was uh, there's a Saudi Arabian embassy in somewhere like Turkey, somewhere like that. Can you remember this? And like this top um, this top news reporter journalist guy went in there. <clears throat> And uh, he didn't come out, basically. And then, um, like, because he was speaking out against the royal, the sheikh of uh, Saudi Arabia. Um, And then, like, (laughs) all these guys come out with suitcases one by one because they cut him up in the room. It's good. It's on Amazon if you want to watch it. It sounds good. Sounds good. It is good. Um. And yeah, that's just blatant, obviously corruption. But um, you do you know that he hacked, um, Jeff Bezos's phone? Did he? Yeah. Uh, what, did he, released, what did he find on there? Penises. He released his dick pics. Do you not know those? Uh, no, 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 I don't know this. And that was proven. Well, that he had um, dick pics. Yeah, because he got divorced, didn't he? Why? Why the thing is right? Why do you want to hack a nerd's phone and show his dick pics? That guy's oh, a nerd. So he <laughs> was going to do this massive deal with yeah. uh, Saudi, right? And then because he killed, I think his name was Kachogi or Kachogi, something like that. Because he killed him, and it kind of come out that he did, obviously. But what they did is they that that's what I said about the Patsy thing, because they kind of just killed these guys and they did it. They just the five guys who got rid of the suitcases. Yeah. In Saudi Arabia, they just I think they just killed those guys. Um, like and said, Oh, they shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but obviously they're ordered to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um but yeah, so he pulled out of this big deal from um Saudi, which obviously, as you've seen, they're trying to like sports wash and stuff, aren't they? Yeah. Um and uh, so then he sent Jeff Bezos this link and he's clicked on the link. And once you click on the link, the you can see everything that person's done or doing in their phone. Um, and, yeah, it was traced back to him, basically. Um, and I think that was developed by Israel. Sneaky. Sneaky, these <laughs> sneaky Israelis. <laughs> <laughs> and now they've made a second version where all I would need is your mobile number. Oh, is this the Pegasus thing? Pegasus, that's it. That's the word. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I kept thinking it was called Trojan. But no, I think there is about... something called Trojan. I think that might be on... um. Like uh, some kind of computer software. Yeah, I think you might be right. But um, but yeah, that's that's it is a good documentary. 
Okay. All right. Well, let's go for fail every class then. <laughs> 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 and let's make that the last one. Oh, I didn't even tell us the <laughs> I didn't tell us the percentage. God damn it. Oh, oh. oh well. All right, that, well. I'm glad we're not doing that one because that is shit. That one. That is dog shit, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um Oh shit, what's going so, on? What... So you think you got some good clips from TikTok? I don't think I've got any clips for TikTok, to be honest with you. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. And um, <laughs> there might be a couple bits in there that just, like, yeah. Nip it. Yeah. Maybe if I put it on, uh, what's it, Rumble? Is it Rumble? Rumble, yeah. That'd work. You do what you want on there. What, the whole, the whole thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh um, Alex Jones, I like it. <laughs> he will, because we talk about flat Earth and conspiracies. Yeah. There might you might be able to put the uh, Tate stuff up, maybe if you do some careful editing. Oh, I don't like carefully editing, though. Oh, we see. So probably not then. <laughs> right, not a go. Um, thanks for everyone that watched this, which would be thanks, no one. Guys. Yeah, all right. Yeah, thanks for watching. Stay optimistic, yeah? Thanks for watching, everyone. This has been Sam Love and Rye Dog. Uh, Rye Dog, for anyone that wants to know, uh, does do stand-up comedy sometimes. He's a bit hacky, but you can catch him. He's pretty good. Pretty good hack. The, He's a hacky. Playing, uh, playing the hacky, hacky sack centre. Um, yeah. <laughs> 24th of Hacktober. Yeah, uh, and if you get sick of that, then they'll have Hacksaw Ridge playing in the background. <laughs> but all of the cast has been replaced by the uh, by the All Blacks, and they're they're all doing the hacker. So, and uh, the wrestler Hacksaw Jim Duggan will be there also. <laughs> um, you can also catch me in Panto in Hack and the Beanstalk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm doing a musical later on in the year called Hack the Ripper <laughs> um, and then I'm back uh, to, uh, to do Hack and Drill so uh, yeah. it's, it's a packed it's a hacked year he's doing um, I think he's he's you, you've been working on names for a special I think it's called Nightmare on Hack Street um, yeah <laughs> hoping to become like an action star like Hack Reacher um, <laughs> and hack <Ryan. laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a big year ahead of, for me, man. So, um, <laughs> I think this will be a springboard into other things. <laughs> um, I think the 17 people who might see this and hate it, um, might come and see one of my free shows maybe at one point. Yeah, well, yeah, so he runs uh, free shows. In uh, you... there's an actual plug, <laughs> yeah. Run a free show at uh, the Swan in Farm of uh, Farnborough, in Farnborough yeah, that's it. yeah. And runs a free show in uh, yeah, you just said in the, <laughs> the Swan, um, every other Sunday from next week. Um, we've got a capacity of 25. Um, <laughs> uh, Please let me know if you're going to come down because, um, you know, sometimes we have 17 people there and it gets quite lively. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> other than that, um, I think I'm on to bigger and better things than this, actually. <laughs> okay, right. Well, because I've Ryan. got. To off in a minute so that's probably more important <laughs> right well it's been a pleasure I'll see, I'll see you next time Ryan you want me to finish with like a joke or something yeah you can do a, do a joke do a joke uh, oh hey Sam did you see that new gay porno based on Tom Cruise films what's it Jack Reach Around 
Oh, God. <laughs> or hack reach around. Oh, that's you. That's where you play it. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, All right. I'm going to bum. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to go. See you later. Um, see you and your mum. <laughs> bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye. Stupid asshole.